So how much does Fast X actually need to make at the worldwide box office in order to break even? It's a question that a lot of people are asking because, number one, it's a very expensive film to make. We'll talk about how expensive. And number two, we just talked a little bit earlier today about the fact that it took a really terrible 65.7% drop from weekend one to weekend two. Uh, nonetheless, overall, worldwide, Fast X has already made about $512 million. Now, there's a lot of filmmakers that would kill to ever make a movie that makes $512 million. But this is no ordinary movie. This is Fast 10 or Fast X, whatever you want to call it. So is $512 million good enough? Will it make money? Has it already crossed the break-even point? How far does it have to go if it hasn't? Well, let's break that down right now. The, the first thing that we need to talk about is that this movie, Fast X, was a ridiculously, nonsensically expensive movie to make. This film reportedly came in, according to reports, $340 million to make. This easily makes Fast X one of the most expensive films in the history of cinema. Now, depending on who you listen to, some will say that makes it the seventh most expensive film of all time. Some people rank it as high as the fourth most expensive film of all time. Regardless, it's an expensive film. I mean, the biggest films of all time didn't cost, Avatar didn't cost this much to make, but it cost $340 million. All right. So at $340 million, how much does Fast X need to make to break even? I mean, hasn't it already broken even considering it's made 512? Well, no. See, there's a little bit of a formula that we go through, and it's not an exact science, but there's a little bit of formula that we use that kind of gives us a general rough idea about whereabouts a movie needs to come in to make a profit, or at least break even. And that basic formula is take the cost of the movie, add on top of that the cost of the marketing for your total cost, then take your box office total minus one third for the amount that the movie theaters keep. And if that number is ending up being bigger than your total expenses, you're good. So what does Fast X need to make? Well, the first number we look at is the one we've just established, the expense of the film. The film costs $340 million to make. Again, one of the most insanely expensive films in the history of mankind. Well, now on top of that, there's no specific number that's given, but I've read a couple of reports that seem to make sense that this came in at about $150 million marketing budget. Now, that is not the most insane marketing budget. It's a good, healthy, big marketing budget, but there have been bigger, but $150 million sounds about right. Now, if we want to just round out the numbers nicely, we're going to say that even though that's $490 million, just for the sake of easy math, we're going to say let's round that out to basically $500 million. All right. Well, if it costs $500 million, then this movie needs to make $750 million just to break even. Remember, you take that worldwide box office and then you minus one third for the rough amount that the theaters are going to keep. And in this case, if you minus one third from $750 million, that lands you at that $500 million mark. Now, again, this isn't science, right? This is a rough general idea. Maybe it needs to make $720 million. Maybe it needs to make $810 million. But if you're looking for a rough, you know, general rule of thumb about roughly how much does this movie need to make, you are talking about a movie here that needs to make an insane amount of money to break even. Can it make that much money? Well, after two full weekends and it's already in steep decline, Fast X has made 512. Again, a very impressive box office number for most movies. Unfortunately for Fast X, this is a very, very expensive film. Can it make another, roughly speaking, $250 million? Well, we got Little Mermaid out right now. We got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is on its way. We've got a Transformers movie on the way. It's it's going to be tough. I do think that this movie will end up breaking even. I mean, I don't know that for sure. It's certainly possible that it could fall short and end up being a money loser. Or, you know, maybe it could blow by that $750 million and make a healthy profit. So I'm not feeling really comfortable that this movie will break even, but it certainly can at this point. But it's not going to be a hugely profitable film at the end of the day. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. 
Guys, it is 2023 and online privacy and security has never been more important. You see, every device, phones, computers, tablets has a unique IP address, which is like an internet phone number and reveals personal information about you. It's super simple for somebody online who knows what they're doing to find your IP address. If you've ever clicked on a sketchy link or opened an email from somebody you don't know, your IP address could become exposed. Now that's where ExpressVPN has your back. ExpressVPN is an app that hides your real IP address and replaces it with a dummy one, keeping you safe and private. And you don't have to be some kind of techie to use a VPN. Guys, it is so easy to use. Just download the ExpressVPN app on your phone or computer, tap one button to turn it on, and you're protected. And if you like your streaming entertainment, here's the coolest part. They let you choose what country you want your IP address to look like it's coming from. This is incredibly useful because services like Netflix and Disney Plus give you different shows depending on what what country you're in. So secure your family's online activity and unlock tons of new shows by visiting expressvpn.com slash campia. Use my link and you can get three extra months free. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, vpn.com slash campia. Go to expressvpn.com slash campia to learn more. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I mean, the fact that it costs $340 million to make this movie, which leaves it with an astronomical number that it needs to hit just to break even. After two full weekends and it's already in steep decline, it's made about $512, $513 million. Do you think it can get to that $750 million mark? Maybe you think it can get there easily, no problem. Maybe you think it's going to struggle. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your Thoughts. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching our video. Make sure you click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And by the way, we do the John Campy Show podcast every day. So go and subscribe to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or whatever your favorite podcasting app of choice is.